Thank you very much, Ken. A bit of change in topic now, a swift change. I'm here with Ashton Kelleher, who is a freelance wedding hairstylist, upstylist, I yes, believe. Yes, yeah. upstylist, <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, very random job, indeed. I know it is, but it's a beautiful job to be yeah. like part of. I'm very lucky because working more so with like weddings, I'm around very excited people. And yeah, happy yeah. Events. And a love buzz and excitement. Love, yeah, day. I totally yeah, love yeah. buzz. So it's a great sort of um, lifter, really, to be part of a, a like bride's wedding morning and wedding planning of course really, yeah, and the so big day so yeah so i mean you're obviously trained as a hairstylist yes. and you you do other events as well but it's yeah. mainly weddings it's and the bridal bridesmaids yeah. Yeah. yeah so if i'm booked to do a bridal party it's the bride it's the bridal party mm. the mother, mother and yeah. maybe if there's a flower girl thrown okay. in there too yeah now i've been bridesmaid at one wedding okay. so i understand the bit of chaos that goes yes. on on the the day yeah um you know you hear people say Oh my God, I have to get up at six o'clock when I'm raising my Yeah, you need that much time, don't yeah, you, to you get do, the, yeah. everything done. Like what I would normally say, if it's a two o'clock wedding, if there is the bride and a bridal party of say maybe three and mm -hmm. a mom, I would generally say an eight and eight thirty start. To right. have you ready for to have you ready for her twelve thirty. Because mm -hmm. then you have to think about the getting into the dress. Yeah. If the back of the dress is buttoned, you have to mm -hmm. you have to think of all of this time. Yeah. And then you want the bride to be calm and relaxed. If she wants to have a glass of prosecco or a cup of tea. Or, or a bottle <laughs> of prosecco. I was <laughs> gonna say it, but I said I guess not. Just in case. If it gave me all the bottles of like prosecco available. You obviously need to have photographs taken too. So you need to yeah. really like think of your Everything. time scale yeah. for a wedding and morning. Obviously, as a stylist in any field, like I, I would yeah. dress models for fashion shows. Yeah. And unless you're in that job, you don't think of those small things, like really, well, do I'm you? I'm so delighted that you said that. Yeah. People think I have a really glamorous job, and I totally oh. do. But it's all of these niggly things, things that yeah. go on that yeah. people don't even think of. And you're going, yeah, but who dresses the person? Like yeah. I'm often found on a like wedding morning doing up the backs of dresses, fixing looking bogeys, for jewelry, looking yeah. for jewelry <laughs> helping bridesmaids get into spanks if needs be. All of this happens, I swear, yeah. all of this happens. One of my so, yeah. best memories from a show years ago was, was, a, was a wedding show and the dress, and uh, the bride, the bride's dress was, was white and it was beautiful, but we had no um, covers. Yes. And I was yeah. hunting down the whole hotel for plasters. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, that matter, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, now, as I've been a bridesmaid, I've never been a bride. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Long time off. Yes. <laughs> but um, I, I can imagine it being quite stressful, and that the people around you, your team, like not just your bridesmaid, but your makeup artist, mm -hmm. your hairstylist, you're there to keep calm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, you're obviously an expert at doing all that. I would like to think I am. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we're <laughs> going to go into it in a minute about where you're putting your expertise. Yeah. But for someone who is getting married and they're they're put off by the idea of you know, it being a really stressful day and it mm -hmm. going over time, because it does, you know, all the, yeah. all the groom has to do is get into a suit. <laughs> and suit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But like what you just said, all the small things that add up to time, how is um, calm and serenity kept before the church? Because people's nerves are bad enough as it is. Um, so I think if you're hiring anyone for your bridal morning, especially hair, makeup, anyone that is worth their weight in like gold, knows how to sort of manage little upsets that mm -hmm. might happen and um, you sort of know what you're dealing with from when you walk into the bright yeah, house on yeah, the like, yeah, yeah. morning but sometimes like I have often just grabbed people and just put my arms on and then mm -hmm. just, just calm down mm -hmm. just calm down Prosecco. but <laughs> yes completely <laughs> the bottle but like it's never a sort of worried stress it's just the anxiousness okay. and the waiting of everything more so than mm -hmm. anything else but part of my job is to just bring it all back into yep. the moment of that it's a wedding yep. and that it's not the end of the like world mm -hmm. if you have a tiny blip like with all yep. of the like Benny weddings yeah with all of the like weddings that I've done I've never had any bride not get up that aisle at the end of the like day. yeah yeah so of everything course. works out but I myself, I'd always have like a sewing kit or double sided tape yes, and all of this all carry the bits on and in feet. like bags. Nor, so nor fin, to, safety nor pins. Fit. Straws <laughs> actually are a Straws. great thing because um, sometimes the makeup artist mightn't be there till like the um, very end. 
and brides are obviously drinking and all of that. Yeah. So straws, oh, straw, of course, they don't lipstick. ruin their lipstick. Never yes. thought There's of that. There's a top tip now in this, so yeah. Um, I've been to, I was saying this, we had an interview in St. George's Closet a few weeks ago, and yeah. I, I was saying to the girls, I've been at some weddings, and literally the brides have looked nothing like I imagine them. Not just the dress, yeah. but hair, makeup, not so much, but for some reason, I, they just, I've been at weddings and their hair is nothing like they would wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. I was actually at a wedding with a, f a friend and she said to them, I, need, I know my hair, I need a good curly blow dry. Mm -hmm. They didn't bother. All her hair fell out. We were fixing her hair in the hotel. It's so stressful then. Like then all her yeah. church pictures and her hair, she, her hair went out. So, I, I mean, obviously there's a lot of prep and trials in it. Yeah, so I would 100% say trial hair without mm -hmm. a shadow of a like, doubt. I would definitely say your bridal hair and your bridal makeup is the polar opposite to your going out hair because okay. it's sort of prepped in a different manner and you want your hair to be as beautiful at 11 o'clock in the like morning yeah. to 11 o'clock in the, the end. <laughs> so you really have to like be 100% confident with your bridal stylist yeah. and it's the most beautiful hair you'll ever have for of one of the most beautiful days in your life. And you have your, your pictures like, like, forever. I'm looking back on them forever. It's not like your night yeah. out and your hair doesn't I go actually, to plan. So I got married in 2009 and I loved my hair, but looking back now, I was like, why didn't I do something else? Oh, really? Yeah, my hand on heart. I and really you're an really expert do. on it, so I yeah. I, I yeah. know now it was beautiful, but looking back, I wish I stuck to my sort of true style yes. of what I wanted but I didn't. So do br brides can get like the dress thing where there's mother-in-laws there yeah. and other people, people they can get sidetracked and decide on something that you're really not yeah yeah, that yeah. you have to put the foot down. So. You do ha if it's something that you really want mm -hmm. and if you're happy with it stick to it completely so yeah okay good to know yeah so <laughs> just for when you're getting um, married. <laughs> we were going to get well yeah. me off yet but <laughs> um celebrity weddings we were talking a while ago yeah. we had a bit of a google and we picked out some who were a really good yeah. example and Angela Scanlon loved loved loved, her. loved it, it. she literally yeah. looked exactly like, she I amazing. Imagine, like yeah. you would imagine yeah. her she really her hair had. and her dress it was just her yeah I personally myself wouldn't imagine her to be any different, different. different. no no I just think she's got a real cool quirky yeah, look low maintenance. And she carried very low maintenance through. yeah she really not totally natural. carried it through in her whole bridal look yeah and fab. even her hubby looked the fact yeah, like he was really dapper actually, like grooms are really sort of coming out of the normal mm -hmm. groom suit different at the, types like, of suits moment. yeah a lot of them are getting them um quite tailored and yeah. like um made and it's just really fun even down to their different types of pocket squares yes, and, or and the ties or bows and yeah. stuff like that so the grooms yeah. are really coming up in the a wedding friend world. of mine was at a wedding abroad and the groom was wearing shorts. No way. Uh, he had, it, was, okay. it was just, it was a practical choice, yeah. but they were suit shorts cool. and they looked great because yeah, he was on yeah, the yeah. beach, but he was saying 10 years ago, he could never have done no, that. No, because you'd be laughed at. Yeah, literally, like, especially yeah. being Irish, we're very traditional yeah. in some ways. No, I think so, yeah. Another celebrity we looked at was um, the two sisters, Pippa and yeah. Kate. Two perfect examples yeah. of, I think, I mean, neither of them would be my personal style, mm -hmm. but they both looked so exactly. it's funny you say that because um, quite a lot of times bride comes in with images of like hair and I get pictures of Kate's hair so really? often. Yeah, yeah, It's unbelievable. It's a beautiful classic look that will never yes. age the like, royal test of time. English beauty, it's gorgeous. Just, yeah. And it goes with quite a lot of different neck uh, line sort of dresses. So she's really high up there still like she's. Mm -hmm. Gosh, she's married a good few years now. Good few years, and yeah. it's like literally when I googled celebrity weddings, I go, oh, "That was the f that was her she first picture." She still is up. on the top, yeah, the top of the old yeah, Google it's search, <laughs> isn't she? Yeah. But I think coming back to her wedding dress as well, it's still a sort of look that is very current. Still, mm -hmm. it might be altered a little bit. A little bit. The sleeves yeah. might be a little bit more shorter, but that whole lace look is really, really big yeah. still at the moment. And at Pippa and her bridesmaid and even the flower girls, yeah. like the, it was just the theme the whole yeah, way through. It, yeah. Like the whole look just completely came, yeah. flowed through. It was gorgeous. Yeah. Um, and you do the mother of the bride's hair as well and the bridesmaids yeah. and flower girls, everyone, everybody everyone, in the wedding party. Anyone that needs hair, oh. I'm there. I set up in a kitchen, in a corner, in a kitchen. Yeah. And, <laughs> and off you go. And most of the time I'm like drying hair like this in a like corner. 
but I will cover the whole bridal party. The whole yeah. bridal party. Yeah. Um, and you've actually started putting your expertise, it's very good, used to pass on the, yes. the gospel. Yeah. You set up a yeah. blog there, is it yeah. three years now running? No, it's, um, I only started up the 1st of January of this oh, wow. year. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, sorry, you started freelance yeah. three years ago. So the Freelan blog is really yeah, new. it's really new. Yeah, okay. But it's yeah. after taking off. So the blog is Polka Dot Dreaming. And it is, I suppose the best way of describing it, it's like the viral um, version of a wed of a wedding fair. Okay. So yeah. it's to sort of help people plan. It's to make people think outside the box a yeah. little bit to let them know that there's other versions of like flowers and dresses yeah, and hair yeah. and makeup. Because um, they're so big wedding fairs. I've worked so at a few of them yeah. modeling and literally you could be there all day it's so daunting yeah. and it's really busy and like i i, I scared yeah, yeah, yeah really i found them bit, very yeah. um i wouldn't say stressed out because i wasn't the bride overwhelmed, but overwhelmed that's the word i was looking for yeah. yeah so what i actually did um may of this year i actually held my first wedding clinic um just purposely because of this overwhelming feeling when you do go yeah. to like um wedding fairs so the polka dot dreaming wedding clinics um i'm just i had my first one in may second one was just last weekend but it's an afternoon tea held in okay. um, a location in cork and it's just a great day of knowledge so what i have is i have a full panel of experts that come up on um stage and they basically give us all the inside scoop of what sort of goes on from their side of like wedding right, planning. Yeah. They share the world of tips that you would never get at any like okay. wedding fair. Um, you've also won an award. You were leaving that out there when I said the highlight. So, you're being very modest. So, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so um, what it actually was at the start of this year, I was um, named one of the top five bridal okay. stylists in Ireland. Um, I was the only one from mm. Munster. Um, sorry, no, I'm going to take back the only one from Cork. Um, okay, there was the another, real capital. Don't mind no, there was <laughs> another amazing lady from Kerry, um, Katrina mm. Rohan oh, is yeah. her name, and I just look up to her. Unbelievable, she's mm -hmm. phenomenal. Um, so myself and her were um, the only Munster bridal stylist oh, to nice. be in the top five, and that that was from the um, beauty dial blog from Edel uh, Cox. From Edel Cox. So oh wow, I there was, you go. I was, to, I have to say now, I was flabbergasted. I can imagine because yeah. I mean that that's, I mean Edel Cox would be someone that you look up to yeah, for like inspiration. Yeah, done a lot of um, events and mm -hmm. television shows and stuff like that. So when I got mailed about it, it was actually in the middle of the night I sort of woke up and I read the um, mail first and I was like, is this a joke? And then I was like, oh my God, God. Oh my, so yeah. I'm, I'm actually stunned. And I'm you really let the blog's less than a year old. Less than a year so old, and I can't believe where we are with it yeah. at the moment. You'll yeah. have to come back to us next year for another interview, and I we can get I more goss. Yes. Well. I'll have to invite you to one of my wedding clinics, actually. Oh, absolutely. That's, that's well, I don't need to yeah. go to a wedding clinic, well, but I'm sure I have friends. <laughs> you can I have models, so yeah. Okay, so yeah. I have yeah. plenty <laughs> of friends. I've had a good few weddings now this year, last few years. I feel like I was only at my 21st birthday stage no, and before I knew it I was at wedding weddings yeah, yeah it does happen um, Ashley it was great chatting to you thank you so thank much thank you very much and well done on your nomination thanks a million thank you, thank you.